Hello world, Zenith here with another let's hack. Now I know in the last couple of days I uploaded other things than let's hacks, but that's just to sprinkle in some knowledge along the way for people that may not be so interested in this kind of videos. As you may or may not remember, last time, so in the last episode, we were able to capture the NTLM hash of the user Ted Graves. If my face could disappear for a minute here, then you could actually read it. Ted Graves, intelligence, blah, 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 the whole hashes. So what I did off screen, because it usually takes a lot of time, is I cracked the NTLM hash with John the Ripper, as you can see from this command down below. And I captured the password, as you can see from this command down below. And this password of this user is Mr. Teddy. So if you ask me a pretty weak password but back on topic now that we have this we can actually go into the smb client which i already prepared because i wanted to test that it actually works before i go into this episode and then completely mess up so let's clear this up and in here we have a couple of more things that, well, it's basically the same things, but we could try to download, for example, the administrator share contents because we weren't able with our Tiffany Molina thing. However, we can also list Ted Graves contents because we didn't have that as well. And maybe that will give us some useful information. I don't know. So let's just try, you know, prompt of recurse on and then mget star to basically download everything again but let me think a minute do we want to do that in this folder where we're actually at no let's change this up let's change this up so let's exit over here create a directory mkdir um, share teddy and cd into the share teddy folder come on and once we're in here, we can reconnect. And now I have, ah, okay, sorry, I'm stupid. I have to go one back for the target IP. Perfect, now we're in. So let's do the prompt off. So it doesn't ask us for every file if we actually want to download it and just downloads it and then recurse recurse on so that we can download subdirectories and subdirectories and so forth and so on and so on so let's just mget star which will basically download everything in this directory and now we wait for the magic to happen we still have some access denied which is weird because some of it was actually Teddy's stuff that gave us an access denied. So maybe let's just take a peek in here. Okay, we have we have tons of stuff. Um Okay, again we have some form of binary that I'm not sure how to open. And another form of binary that I'm also not sure how to open properly. So, a couple of binaries. Maybe we do have some other files in here. But it doesn't... It doesn't... Uh, maybe in here? No. So, for you that don't see this, I'm in here navigating and checking if I find anything interesting but it doesn't look like credentials ah oh. now sadly this doesn't look like it gave us something that we could use so does this user actually have more permissions why, why did I want to crack this user in the first place? 
We did something with, with the relay. Ah, uh, yeah, Teddy was doing something in the down detector PS1, so... Teddy seems to be a system admin of some sort. Maybe... Maybe they have a secure thing in place where he's not just an admin, but actually has to get this permission via the... Kerberos authentication, so we need to capture the golden ticket. I have no idea how to do that, but we will find out <laughs> together. Now, let me open this up. Get golden ticket. No, not how to stop it. I actually just want to know how to perform the attack, not what the attack is. I should know that by now. <laughs> tools. I'm pretty sure it's it's something in the in packet toolset. So let's check out what we have in packet. And then we have a couple of things. We have Mimi cuts, services, which one of those tools will actually give us a ticket? I'm pretty sure it's one of those weird ones that start with a capital letter. Because that's usually <laughs> how you get the Windows stuff. So let's try one that we didn't have, so which is users SPNs. I, I think that that's the correct one. But the usage, I'm unclear. Let's ask this tool for help, which it doesn't seem to want to provide for me. Okay, we have a great way to authenticate we can use the hash can we also use the password now that we've already cracked it okay so maybe we just need to add the target and domain no dcip okay okay so we need the DC IP, which is actually cat target IP. And then we need, I think the user, domain, username, password. Okay, so this is the domain. So let's do domain slash cat graves. Right, that's it. And the password is with a colon. So let's add the graves and then the password, which was Mr. Teddy or something like that. Yes, Mr. Teddy. And let's run this. No entries found. Interesting. I may have to look up how this tool actually works and come back to you in the next episode. So thank you very much for joining and see you in the next one.